Hey yo guys, it's me again with the same intro, you know. Cause I just got back from a pep rally monster mash dance and I'm gonna be showing you a few DIY um decor, Halloween decorations, stuff like that. So please like and let's get on. So for this pumpkin dripping pumpkin <laughs> You're gonna need E6000 glue, and actually I used hot glue because the E6000 glue didn't want to work. And your favorite box of, well not your favorite box of crayons, but your favorite crayon colors. So in this process, I figured out that the E6000 glue takes a long time to dry and it won't dry on the pumpkin's texture. So you're gonna have to use, you know, hot glue. That's what I use. So you're gonna do the same process. You're gonna put the hot glue and you're gonna hold it down and with your hair dryer you're gonna put it on high heat once you're done sticking all your crayons or what colors you want and once you start like spinning it around the hot air starts going it will start dripping fast so you know you wanna do that whip whip thing move side to side get that get that melted pumpkin look you know tumbler central yes and I think this project is honestly one of the coolest ones I've ever done. I've seen it on like Mythbusters and stuff like that, other channels, but like mini style, instead of with a huge pumpkin, that would just be wasting the pumpkin. So yeah, this is a really fun DIY for me and my mom to do together, and I really liked how it came out. It's on my porch every day, and it's really nice, colorful. So for this jack o lantern I just got this, um, foam jack-o-later at Michael's for about $7 but it was on sale for 3 so yeah it's gotta go that bargain hunting and I got this paint that was like $1.75 I think some, it was really cheap and it works really good so after this first home time lapse of course because I don't know why I just find it so satisfying just to watch how fast it goes but you're gonna want to make sure that you get every single tooth and all the creases because People will see that and after you've done the first coat I actually done a few more coats just to be safe and I accidentally thought that the top stem was actually brown like a retard and then I figured out oh wait it's green hello but I really like how it came out for this next one is candy corn cup now this one was like thought on the spot and it's the easiest thing I've ever seen but you're just gonna need the glass and I got this at Target for like three dollars and you're gonna wanna stick your favorite Halloween candy like I did, which was candy corn. And a lot of my family didn't like candy corn for some reason, but I do. And to help the fat stick go through, you're gonna wanna flip it upside down and stick that straw to the bottom, and you're done. Next are these ghost stick yard things. And you're gonna need a bag stick and, of course, tissue. Yeah, I'll be slain with that Dory tissue. But you're gonna want to stick the stick through and then stuff the toilet paper in before you close it or else it won't look right and it will not come out. So once you stick the toilet paper in and the stick in after, you're gonna want to twist it with a little twisty twisties to keep the head, you know, flamboyant. No, I'm done. This head was really fat on accident, but it was for the video, so I really liked how it came out. And I really like how these come out. They like really put some spice into your front yard. Next are these ice cubes with spiders and bats and skulls in it. And this was by far one of the coolest ideas and easiest ideas I've seen almost on every YouTube channel ever. So they came out really nice. I just used a mason jar and a chalk board with the mason jar on it and filled up my favorite thing, water, of course, because I had no juice. And I just stick those cubes in there. And I think the cubes came out really nice. They put a good touch to the drink. Make sure not to give these to any kids. I put some food coloring in here just to add some more, you know, oomph to the project. Make sure you don't really give these to kids because once the ice melts, the toys are still in there. And make sure to sanitize or clean the toys like I did because you don't need that. So here I put a Happy Halloween. It come out. It came out really bad looking, but it was really hard to write because I had to erase it, and then it kept on getting wet from the condensation from the cup. But it says Happy Halloween, and I really like how it came out. It's good. 
Next is the skeleton wall decoration and all you're going to do is use the instructions and put it together and stick it on your wall. I didn't really show you guys it that much. Just did a time lapse because all it is is really just using the instructions. Um, I want to tell you guys, thanks for watching. Tell you guys, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. Hope you liked the video, and this is my new hairstyle. No, I'm joking. No, my hair is but they look cute. But yeah, please like and subscribe, and love you guys. Peace out.